What's up? Welcome back to part two of the Lutron Caseta dimmer switch install. In the last episode, part one, we did a single pole switch and today we're gonna do a three-way switch and then I'm gonna follow it up and show you how to use the Lutron app and then hook it all into Alexa for voice control. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, let's cut the power again and we're gonna do this switch here, except this is a three-way switch, so I can turn this on in my garage as well. This is the outside garage lights. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna install the other switch and then in the other garage, I'm gonna put the Pico remote. I totally apologize, but I forgot to turn the microphone back on for a few clips, so I'm just gonna talk over them. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. This is why it's so important to check to make sure the power is off. I had turned the power off on the left two switches. I was completely surprised to find the power still on this switch. Beep. I had to go back to the garage and switch it off. Yay, power's off and we're all safe. What's this, a fourth wire that's red? Don't worry, it's just a transfer wire from the other switch. We're actually gonna cap it off and then the three remaining wires are the black wire, the white wire, and the ground, which sets it up exactly like the switch for part one. Now let's cut the wires from the switch and we'll hook up the other light. Use the 12 gauge hole in your wire strippers, clamp down and pull. Cap off the red wire with one of your wire nuts. Attach your wires, which is described in detail in part one, but the white goes to black, the black goes to black, and the green goes to the copper wire ground. Lutron switches amazingly detect the polarity or direction of current, so it doesn't matter which order you hook your white or black wire. We have to get rid of the metal fins on this side so it matches up against the Lutron switch to its left. Okay, let's close this thing up. Here's the switch where we're gonna install the Pico remote. You guys have seen this already, so I removed the wall cover, I took out the old switch, I clipped the wires on the switch, and then I took a nut, and what I did is I capped off the ground here, and I took the transfer wires and the hot wire, and I twisted them together, now I spliced them into one, so I closed the circuit, and we're gonna tuck these back into the wall. All right, now we're gonna install the wall plate for the Pico remote. All right, before I install the Pico remote uh, over in the other garage, all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair it with this switch. Everything's working now, so that's great. And in order to do that, all I have to do, first I turn it off, and I'm gonna hold it down for a few seconds until it starts blinking. There you go, so now it's blinking, and then all I do is hold the bottom of this remote down, and it starts blinking. And now it's calibrating, so if I press down on this now, it just controlled that remote. But I'm actually gonna go very bold here. I wanna program this one too to work with this Pico remote. You can synchronize, I think, up to 17 lights on this Pico remote. But um, anyway, we're gonna do just these two, and then that way, in the, if I hit the button in the garage, then all of my front lights will come on at the same time. So I'm gonna do the same thing here blinking. I'm going to hold this down. Okay, so this is blinking now, and now I should be able to control everything together. Push this up. Yep, they both came on at the same time. Let's go check outside. Here's a good way to see it because I'm going to press the Pico remote, and you can see they all came on at the same time. All right, the Pico remote is really cool because you can program it for as many switches as you want. So what we just did is we programmed it for two switches on the other side. And then you can just install it. It just, there's a little piece that comes on the backing and all you have to do is just take that piece out and it slides right in here like that and it clicks in. So now all we have to do is just add the wall plate. Like that. Put some screws back in and everything's pretty much set up. For this part, I'm gonna show you how to connect our new dimmers to the Lutron Smart Bridge and the Lutron app. I'm gonna take you through step by step. If you haven't done so already, step one is to hook in your Lutron Smart Bridge. It needs to be hardwired, so you're gonna to need to hook an ethernet cable into the back of your Smart Bridge and around into the back of your modem. Step two, I recommend going to the Lutron website where you can create an account. 
Step three, once you're registered, depending on your mobile device, either go to the App Store or Google Play to download the Lutron app. Step four is gonna be opening the app. If you're a first time user, you're gonna have to type in your new That probably means I have bulbs in there that aren't dimmable. Let me check. I took the bulbs out and that's exactly the issue. It says right here, they're non-dimmable. So, looks like I'm making a trip to the store. Take two. We're a couple hours later. I just stopped by Ace Hardware and picked up some dimmable LEDs that I can use outside. These bulbs are not only dimmable, but they also last for up to 22 years. Now that the bulbs are all changed out with the dimmer bulbs, let's try it again. Garage lights, we're gonna turn them on. Boom, they're working. All right, let's dim them down. Slide this down. Get us some nice romantic lighting. There we go. All right, turn them off. Perfect. Okay, now that we have the Lutron app all set up, we wanna connect our devices to Alexa, so I'm gonna open the app. I'm gonna go up here to this tab. And then add device, switch, Lutron. It says download the Lutron app, but we've already done that. Discover devices. It says this may take longer than 20 seconds. It discovered 18 devices, two scenes discovered. So let's go down, choose device, and let's see. Oh, there it is, exterior garage lights, and front porch is on there. We could set up a group if we want. Set up. Add your lights to a group, custom group. Let's just call it front outdoor lights. Done. Continue. All right. And then we can go back here and let's go to our front porch lights. Click that, set up device, choose group, and I'm going to add it to the front door outdoor lights. Add to group. All right, so they're all ready to use. So now I can just say, 
Alexa, turn on the front outdoor lights. For the finale here, I want to add timers to the Alexa app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a routine. So I'm going to go up here and click routines. And you can see here, I already have a couple of routines uh, that are enabled. These are my garden lights in the backyard. They come on at a certain time, go off at a certain time. These down here are my Christmas lights, so I have them disabled for now. Uh, but you're going to click the plus sign up here. And then you're going to say, when this happens, we're going to click the plus. We're going to say schedule. And we're going to pick a time. So I think I want my lights to come on, let's say 7 p.m. All right, select. I'm going to say every day, done. And then down here, we're going to click done. Add action. We're going to come down here to smart home. Control group. We just set up that group. So I'm going to pick front outdoor lights. And we want them to come on at that time. So we're going to hit next. And it looks like we're good. So we're going to click save up in the top right corner here. All right. So we've got one routine set up, 7 p.m. Lights come on. And then we're going to set up another one. And let's say schedule. We're going to set it for 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Select. Done. Done. And then add action. Smart home. Control group. We're going to go front outdoor lights. We want them to go off, so I've got to turn that to off. Next. Everything looks good. We're going to hit save. There you go, we've set it all up. We installed two Lutron dimmer switches. We connected them into the Lutron app. We were able to discover them on Alexa and then use Alexa to set up a routine for our front outdoor lights so they'll come on at a certain time every night and go off at a certain time. Thanks for watching the conclusion. Set up with voice control. <laughs> Maggie, really? <laughs> really, Maggie? <laughs>